Are you ready for Star Wars? That man wasn't. Hello everybody, Christmas Bearzilla is here, even though it is October and should be Halloween Bearzilla. Oh well, <laughs> I can't afford Halloween clothes, it's Christmas every day in Bearzilla life. But welcome to Unturned Mod Review, today we're doing... Okay, I want to just have a real quick talk, real quick. There are three things in my life that I love more than anything. Well, it was Minecraft, but I guess this is Minecraft-like games, because obviously Unturned is like that. Uh, the next one is Legos, I love freaking Legos. And the third one, the third one, is Star Wars. And that is why we were doing the Star Wars mod for Unturned. This thing is amazing. There's not a whole lot in the mod, but there's actually some really crazy awesome servers out there. Sadly, I'm not going to be able to show you the servers as they are currently down due to an update. Uh, but they will be back up. I'll put the link in the description and everything. But... Guys, I hope you enjoy. Be sure to smack that like button if you did enjoy, but don't do it now because I've only been like talking for 30 seconds. You haven't seen the mod yet. Wait till you've seen the mod, then smack that like button. And then if you didn't like it, you know, tell me in the description below why you didn't like it. But without further ado, let's get into this. Oh, that was a little creepy. Oh well. Okay guys, so let's go ahead into Forte Brazilla. By the way, I'm holding a gun, which is kind of like a cheating sneak peek. But if I'm holding nothing, I just feel lonely. You know, I'm way too used to seeing my arm always when playing Minecraft. So if I don't see anything, I'm just sad. <laughs> is all I'm going to say. So, we got some nice little turrets here. I don't think anything has changed from the last mod review, or at least two mod reviews ago. Except for Stanley's up here is going to model our clothing up here so we can view it. And also... We have two new additions in here. So, we'll open this up. There's nothing really much in the crates. This is in pretty much the entirety of the mod. But, it, <laughs> just saying this is pretty much it is like the biggest understatement. This is so cool. So, obviously, we have the Stormtrooper and the Rebel. Um, we're just going to go into detail on each of these. I'll also be throwing in some bonus little information in uh, for stuff you didn't know. Such as stuff about the guns, etc. Just little Star Wars information you might not have known. Just because, you know, why not? We'll throw bonus information in there. I thought it would be cool. <laughs> so without further ado, let's take a look. Okay guys, so first off we have the Stormtrooper armor. It consists of a helmet, a plate, a body, and legs. So four pieces in total. Um, just as some backstory of Stormtrooper armor. It was developed by the Imperial Department of Military Research. Stormtrooper armor was the standard issue armor of the Imperial Stormtrooper Corps and was manufactured on planets such as Gilavaron. Introduced sometime after the conclusion of the Clone Wars and was intended to replace the Phase 2 Clone Trooper armor. It was made up of 18 individual overlapping uh, plastoid component parts and synth leather boots which allowed for mobility while also dispersing energy projectiles from the wear from glancing um, blaster bolts. A reinforced alloy plate um, ridge that assisted the user's upper thigh and a sniper position knee protected plates over the wearer's left knee helped improve the accuracy when crouching. While most armor was fitted for humans, other forms were manufactured to fit other body types. Um, a soft click would inform the wearer as to whether or not they had correctly attached the armor. The armor was also resistant to projectile weapons and blast shrapnel. However, the plating made running difficult and was vulnerable to direct hits from blasters or cyclers. So that makes actually a lot of sense. I always wondered why the left knee was so, like, looked different than the right one. But now we know. <laughs> so that is the Stormtrooper armor. Okay, so the first gun we have on the Galactic Empire side is the E-11 Blaster. In unturned, this thing is OP. It kills almost anything if it's a headshot and will two-shot most anything in the body. Not including a Mega Zombie. I probably should have tested the Mega Zombie, but oh well. Um, it has a total of 200 shots, which is insane, and the cartridge only takes up one little spot in your inventory, so it's it's literally amazing. So just as some backstory of the 11 Blaster, the 11 Blaster rifle combined lethal firepower with impressive range and versatile design. Furthermore, three power settings. It had lethal, stun, and sting. The rifle provided useful for a variety of combat situations. An advanced cooling system resulted in the blaster's superior performance, especially useful in its fully firing setting. The E-11 also included a telescoping range-finding sight, 
and folding three position stock which could convert the blaster into a full length rifle. Its standard issue power cells carried energy to, uh, for 100 shots, however the rifle could be loaded with plasma cartridges that could last for more than 500 shots. Um, so that is that. In Unturned, once again, it's just an amazing OP gun, it's just awesome. One thing I like to test in all my gun reviews is how fast it kills a tree. It does not kill a tree fast at all. <laughs> so, you know, there's that. So overall, an awesome gun. I love the noise it makes. It's just so good. Okay, so the next gun you see here is another Galactic Empire gun. This is the DLT-19. Now, this gun in Unturned also has 200 shots and it doesn't do a whole lot of damage against normal zombies. I want to say it is one shot in the head and two shot in the body. Now, that's really, really good. However, the sight is horrendous. You have to go without sighting, which isn't a problem for a lot of people. A lot of people don't even sight these days. But if you're sighting in the normal uh, first person mode or whatever it's called, it's just it's just terrible. There's it's like a red dot sight without the red dot. It doesn't make sense. I don't know what they were thinking. Um, maybe there's some mod I didn't download, but I don't think so. There was no requirements, other mod requirements for this, so it's just kind of a strange gun. Makes a cool noise, like you know the classic Star Wars noise. But other than that, I would definitely suggest the other rifle if you're going with Rebels. Okay guys, now some backstory for the DLT-19. So the DLT-19 was a heavy blaster rifle and was a model of the blaster rifle mod manufactured by Blastech Industries. They were used by stormtroopers of the Galactic Empire. It featured a high rate of fire and could deal heavy damage at long ranges and was most commonly used for pinning down troops and eliminating large groups of enemies. There existed a variation of the DLT-19 DLT known as the DLT-19X. So that's pretty much all we have in terms of description of this gun. There's nothing too crazy about it. Like I said, it, I don't 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 use this gun unless you just want the cool noise. In which case, I understand that it is a very cool noise. But overall, it's just not that great a gun. I, d I just hate it compared to all the other three guns. It just is stupid. <laughs> Okay, so next we have the Rebel Armor. Now, the Rebel Armor consists of a really awesome helmet, a vest, and uh, once again, the vest, actually, if you wear it by yourself, looks like a biker vest, and then a shirt and pants, so all really cool. So, just as a little bit of a backstory behind the Rebels, it's a lot harder to talk about this armor in specific, because this is just a general clothing with a helmet, it's not really armor at all. But, the Rebel Troopers, also known as Rebel Soldiers and Rebel Infantry, were standard foot soldiers employed by the Alliance to restore the Republic. After the declaration of the New Republic in 5 ABV, most rebel troopers were organized in regular units of the New Republic Army. So ultimately that doesn't tell us a whole lot, uh, but it is what it is. Now this um, specific armor was the armor that they wore in the um, episode 4 in the beginning there, if you remember that scene. So that's very iconic. That's why we always think of this armor in terms of Rebel, even though Rebels literally had a billion different types of armor. So did the Stormtroopers, but most of the times when you saw Stormtroopers, you just saw their armor. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it for them. Okay, so the first gun we have on the Rebel side is the DH-17 Rebel Blaster. This is the exact blaster you saw them firing in the, um, once again, in the beginning of Episode 4. Um, so there's a little bit of a nostalgia scene there. Whenever you hear this gun, it just sounds so good. I love the Star Wars blaster noises for some reason. They just sound so good. Um, so once again, in Unturned, it's a two-shot body, one shot to the head of a normal zombie. Um, it's just overall really great. Um, 200 shots, once again the plasma cartridge. Technically you can load it with any ammo, but it really loads really funky. I don't think I show an example in any of these clips, uh, but it's really, really funky. You can use any ammo though, so I mean there's that. So the DH-17 Blaster Pistol. The DH-17 Blaster Pistol was a cl close combat blaster pistol produced by Blastech Industries. The DH-17 Blaster Pistol was commonly used by soldiers of the Rebel Alliance for conflicts aboard starships, and sometimes as if, uh, officers of the Galactic Empire carries it instead of the standard E-11 Blaster Rifle. The pistol was dependable and semi-automatic setting. Firing in a short burst, the, p the pistol could also be fired fully automatic, 
but the power would be drained in 20 seconds. Its high rate of fire and reasonable accuracy made it ideal for medium range combat. So once again, if you think about the intro of Star Wars Episode 4, which I keep saying over and over, mid range combat, they were on a ship, everything just points to this blaster being the one in Star Wars Episode 4. So I guarantee you that's what it is. But let us continue. Okay guys, so next off we have the A280C, another rebel blaster. Um, it's actually a rifle, I believe. So the A280 blaster is a two shots in the body and one shot to the head. So literally all the guns are the same for that. Also has 200 shots, all of, the, all of them are the same. They actually all use the same ammo. Once again, you can use any ammo in all of Unturned, but it does look a little weird when you put the clip in. So it is a tiny bit of a bug on that part. Um, but yeah, overall a great gun, makes awesome noises, that's half the nostalgia of this. This mod's pretty much all nostalgia, I'm just gonna be honest with you. So the A280C blaster rifle was a type of blaster rifle mostly used by the Rebel Troopers and the Rebel Alliance. The A280C blaster rifle was a modified variant of the A280. So the A280C was a highly effective in piercing through armor and providing more power than other blaster rifles at long range. It featured a power charge system and integrated muzzle compen compensator. So there is that. Overall great gun. Um, it was a lot of fun to play with. Also once again with the killing of the tree aspect, if you're a gun woodchopper, I'm sorry, you should have checked out the Alia Bazooka mod. That, th that one was amazing for chopping down trees, but this one just is not, not at all. Um, took a lot of shots, probably 50 or 60, just ridiculous. Makes me sad, but that is that. Okay guys, that's literally it for all the weapons and armor. Now really quickly, we're going to go check out a map that's also by the same creator. Um, it's the map that they use on the server. For some reason, I'm having a little bit of trouble with the map. I can't find the specific place that's like where that you mostly battle all the time, but we are going to check it out really quick. Personally, I don't think it's that great of a map. It's pretty straightforward, nothing crazy, but we might as well still look at it since, you know, Star Wars themed and we have to look at anything Star Wars. So, let us go take a look real quick. Okay guys, here is the map. This thing looks so cool and you can actually somehow get in there. But for some reason his map doesn't tell you how. I understand this is one of those new teleport things. My guess is he's linked it with somewhere in the ship, but he hasn't given me a command or anything or I'm not you might just have to kill a bunch of stuff near this thing. I know that's how it works normally. Uh but you know, I, I'm not really really sure. So this is pretty much all the map is. It's just a huge stinging desert. So frankly, it's really not that great until you can get in the ship. Now, that ship looks pretty stinky cool, and it's just like the ship that gets um, attacked in Star Wars Episode 4 in the beginning. And I know you can fight in there, that's the whole point of this mod, is that you can kind of re-enact, you know, that intro scene. But like I said, you're going to need to check out the description below of how to get on, on the server, or you'll there'll be the IP at least. And there's that. Right now it just doesn't work, but if you want to be able to fight into this big ship, you should download that mod. Um, and then check out the description, post in that, and join the server, see if it's up. Hopefully it is by the time I upload this. But guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to smack that like button if you love Star Wars. And be sure to tell me in the description what mod you want to see next. Now, this mod was just something that caught my eye. I love Star Wars, so I had to show you guys. But if there's something else, some really cool tanks, some really cool ships, some really cool whatever, be sure to submit it in the comments below. I'll check out the mod and I will show you guys in the next episode. But thanks so much. I hope you guys do enjoy. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.